I literally come on here as raw and real and unfiltered as possible. These are summer trends that either I love, I'm obsessed with. Luckily, most of these items are easily accessible or you probably already have because not a lot of them are super new. So I'm actually going to start off with accessories because it's huge. I feel like in the summertime, because we can't wear as many clothes, we kind of lean a bit more towards accessorizing an outfit to really, really make it pop. And there's a couple of like accessories that are really, really trending. And one of them that I absolutely love is pearls. Pearls are heavily trending, whether it's like... I personally like it in jewelry so like in statement necklaces maybe like some pearl dangly kind of situations I absolutely love that I have some pearls from the Colleen Diaz collection with in route that they're stunning the other thing that is really trendy in accessories is any type of statement jewelry so big jewelry and typically when you think about summer you don't think oh my gosh like let's wear a bunch of like statement jewelry really because it's warm <laughs> but it's a thing especially when it comes to earrings i feel like but if you can find you like some really really good statement earrings i have some beautiful pairs from zara to me zara has just been killing it with the statement jewelry also those like bottega drop earrings but the bigger ones are going to be even better for summer then in terms of sunglasses, the wraparound kind of like a visor sunglasses, they are here to stay. And honestly, I love them. The bigger, the better. I have this amazing pair of Tom Ford wraparound sunglasses that I have been wearing for some time. But right now we can really get into a little bit more color. Summer is all about color okay so a good tinted lens imagine it being wrap around and like a tinted lens you got your oranges your yellows your purples all of those kind of like your pink tinted lens sunglasses the glasses where you can actually see your eyes through the sunglasses that is going to it's gonna pop sis i mean it's going to look so beautiful because it's something so sexy to me about being able to see your eyes through sunglasses. And the best thing about that, the very best, especially in summertime, you know how you wear sunglasses, you're sweating, things are not, I guess you could say, as put together, or maybe you're just not wearing like any makeup at all, but you still want to look like clean and nice and beautiful and kind of really put together. Those tinted lens sunglasses, to me, put a look together. You don't necessarily have to put on any makeup whatsoever, and they're great for for indoor and outdoor so there is like a good transitional sunglass that you don't have to take off also mirrored lens sunglasses now mirrored lens sunglasses i do kind of feel like they're not as fitting for indoors but you can do it like listen you can do all things do what you want to do i feel like fashion is open to the person and i just think that that is a beautiful option but for me i prefer for people to be able to see my eyes i love my eyes think they're absolutely beautiful so i would go with more of like a tinted lens but a mirrored lens mm, too good in terms of clothing items what is trending for the summer i'll say that one trend that has continued and i don't think that it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon is cargo pockets and they have expanded it cargo pockets on shirts cargo pockets on maxi skirts i have a beautiful oh my goodness beautiful maxi skirt with cargo pockets is so good it's cargo camo and and it's maxi okay three trends in one and honestly if you don't have like a cargo skirt or you're not really ready to invest in like a major cargo piece because the cargo pieces do get a little expensive and i think it's primarily just because of the detailing that goes into these pieces i actually own a cargo belt that you can just really add to any look and make it more cargo-esque and i think that that's just like a really dope option 
to figure out if you are truly into the trend or maybe just want to try it or use it as more of an accessory so cargo pocket like belt bag and this one in particular is in leather so it really works and will really be like one of those year-round pieces that you can use all of the time and you don't have to break the bank because Attico cargos are ridiculously expensive I've been finding just in general that a lot of designer pieces although so unique are just they're expensive right now I'm not really too sure what's going on with the prices but yeah another one that I found that's really really cool to me in my personal opinion is this inflated trend so the inflated trend is actually supposed to be mirrored after the economy how pretty much everything in the economy is super expensive or has or has inflated in price if you remember when the pillow tabby first came on the market it was a huge trend and now I've seen Prada do so many versions I saw Tibby do the most amazing inflated slides I just thought that those were just divine and i've been seeing quite a few brands really step into this inflated trend because everything in the economy is a lot more expensive than what it was pre-covid so we're now mirroring that in fashion and i think it's dope okay i just think that it is such a unique twist on clothing and how it directly relates to what's going on in the world right now awake mode did a beautiful inflated bag i have a couple of those that i absolutely love and it's like plush jacques mousse did one i mean all of the major kind of fashion houses really stepped onto this trend so puffy accessories bag shoes even down to if you think about the cargo the cargo kind of gives like inflated on its own especially like the attico versions or the mew mew the mew mew version of the cargo pockets they're heavily like inflated where they almost pop off of the garment they're good like amazing combos for sure the next trend is one of my favorites and i've been heavily rocking it and i think that it just makes me look so tall i started rocking this trend last summer and fell in love with it because of the way that it makes me look especially if i pop on some heels with it like it's over especially the short girlies out there okay the girls that are high challenge like me maxi skirts maxi skirts is a vibe and depending on how they're worn especially they give so much length you can really pull them up high so that they are high waisted and then they just drape the floor and if you are short even if you are tall it's just going to elongate the body so much and i think that that is a beautiful thing so i love maxi skirts just in general pretty much any way that they come i have leather version rib versions knit versions they're just good and what's cool is that it's like covered but you're still able to like breathe if the skirts fit the body oh we're talking about something totally different one of my favorite trends okay this is like top tier this to me just gives like super artsy it's just over the top it's unique it's different it's something that i haven't probably seen maybe since like the 80s stick with me okay and think about it like this in the 80s or like 80s early 90s my mom used to go to the beach in these shirts like an oversized shirt that had a printed body on it or like an airbrushed body on it like bikini body on it that was really a thing y'all if i could find one of those old pictures or if i can actually find the shirts then you'll know exactly what i'm talking about that kind of trend is basically reimagined in the jean paul gutier and y project pieces and I want to say that they're calling it illusion garments. A printed body or shape is outlined on the garment. And we saw this a lot. They first started with like the polka dotted kind of version of it. And now it's just full on like nipples and um, curves. And also even like down to like denim pieces printed like clothing 
garments printed on the actual garment to give different illusions and i love it i think that it's creative i think that it kind of takes away from like the body standard or having to be like a certain shape or a certain size i just think that it is one of the most creative touches on clothing that i've seen in a while honestly since then and in the 80s i don't even think that it was like a fashion trend i think that it was just more or less like something that was supposed to be like funny i guess you could say or like entertainment on garments it was something just fun but i don't necessarily know if it was actually considered a like high fashion trend and now it is and i just think that that's interesting to see that kind of like transition into fashion so i'm loving all of these pieces some of them you can find on sale obviously all of mine i, I purchased on sale but i haven't purchased any of the new art garments but i do have quite a few of them on my wish list because i just think that the pieces are just mind-blowing and i think that even as the trend dies down it's still going to be a good conversation piece now that I'm about to do my blush, let's talk about color trends. What colors are going to be in for the summer? And these are supposed to be the top trending colors for this summer. Red, but in particular like that fiery red, like that orangey kind of red. And I've been seeing this piece, this color, quite often. It's not quite burnt orange, it's much more hot it's a beautiful color and if you have dark skin yeah that that color is gonna pop on on you it looks so good on me so i actually love it stepping outside with that is like the other one is butter yellow so it to me butter yellow is like that cross between ecru and regular yellow it's like they had a baby it's almost like a very neutral yellow and I actually just purchased some Jordans in really like that butter yellow color. And they are absolutely stunning. I think that they're going to be a great nude, stump around the city tone in that's not your typical cream, off-white, ecru type of vibe. Then you got Kelly Green. And Kelly Green, she's been around for some time now since the Bottega green essentially kelly green is really the same thing but the mango and simon miller collection just dropped a kelly green dress so i think that that's more of the color that they're going for so i would highly recommend getting that color i also think that green looks really good on darker skin honestly all colors look really good on us to be honest the darker you are the more color just kind of like pops green is just top tier and then the last one we have is blue and i think that blue or indigo is on the rise because of the denim trend that's been all over denim it's almost become oversaturated but i still love it and i think because denim is just such a classic that it's like you can make it a trend but it's it's going to be a trend that just never dies because when do people not wear denim you know when has denim not been a thing denim has been a thing but it's heavily trending now and indigo the color is pop okay and the last trend that i'm gonna go into that i like you know that i love is going to be this romantic lace moment we've been seeing first of all black is popping for the summertime which is different from what we typically see because yeah Everybody knows black in the summertime is almost like a death sentence because it's hot and that black is going to attract the heat. But this kind of like, it's like black but like romantic. So it's a lot of lace, a lot of sheer pieces, a lot of mesh pieces but still in black. And so these are pieces that I feel like everybody already has. It's just more or less of maybe styling them differently because like everybody pretty much has like some type of black mesh or lacy moment and if you don't that's like one of the easiest things to find because you can literally find it in the lingerie aisle and now in terms of shoe trends shoe trends have been i don't know rather simple i guess you can say slingbacks are back 
and i think that those do look extremely well especially because oversized cargos and oversized bottoms are in and just kind of having like that pop of like that feminine touch is back and slingbacks are more of like a classic shoe everybody has seen their either grandmother or mother in a slingback heel at one point in time and kid heels are in too so it's like if you want something that's lower it's it's a vibe so slingback lower and i feel like those are kind of like a easy shoe to walk around stomp around the city in without having to like do too much but you still want to be in like a heel or something that just gives like elevated and looks sneakers are still in but there has been a shift to me in the sneaker trend where the fashion girlies especially are leaning more towards like that classic white sneaker style that non-branded sneaker style so when i think about it the first thing that really comes to my mind is like Stan Smith, Adidas, Stan Smith sneakers. But the girlies are going even simpler than that. Kind of like that um, Golden Goose style sneakers, but like with nothing on it. Just a white, flat, non-branded sneaker. So I think that that's cool, but it's not mm, my vibe, which is why I'm saving it to the end every sneaker that i have that's even similar to that is still like decked out like it, it's just still a lot going on i like a good sneaker i'm still like a jordan one dunk low girl in terms of like fashion sneakers and so that's what i'm gonna go for i know why some people are against it especially the jordan one highs they feel like they're not as easy to style or they might cut you off because of the whole ankle thing but in terms of jordans i feel like there's something for everybody if you don't want to go high you can go low like i just think that it's just something so interesting about a shoe that says who you are now if you are like really kind of like just mellow chill plain like simple minimal then of course yes do the like stands smith style sneaker and i just think in general that's just a great sneaker to have but it is a classic sneaker that's readily available to pretty much anybody. They sell it everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara routine and I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me and Fashion Trends video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.